welcome to a new video. I've ever since the premiere premiered, I was always planning to make a Survivor 44 video. Originally, when I was watching it, I thought, oh, should make a video about how the Tika tribe's probably gonna rapidly combust and die. Or how the Soka is basically Lubu 2.0. But then, final tribal council happened. And this video is specifically towards Jamie Lynn Ruiz. I probably mispronounced that last name. Who now has single handedly made me think. The shot in the dark is an utter failure of an advantage. And brief summary here before we get into the video about the shot in the dark. The shot in the dark is something contestants can play in order to get a 1 in 6 chance of being safe. The only problem is... It's only ever worked once in this premiere of about someone who wasn't going home. Now, I was actually pretty excited for this final trial, not final trial, this tribal council. Mostly because it could go anywhere. There were three very big options and none of them went home. With Brandon and his idol having a decent chance of going home. Lauren lying to everyone had a decent chance of going home. Matthew being connected to Brandon and a weak link right now could go home. And then Maddie who was connected to Lauren who I didn't think was going home. But then went home. And so immediately though. That puts four people on the block, and none of them were Jamie. But for some reason, she paranoid herself into thinking, I don't want to hurt feelings. I'm going to play the shot in the dark. And it worked. She got safety, but I repeat, she wasn't going... She wasn't even on the block, so it was zero votes towards her way. And there goes the one in six. Because Jamie was the sixth person to ever play Shot in the Dark. Sydney lost, went home. A few in 42 did, lost and went home. And then you have Matthew on her drive, who also tried doing it, who could have been on the block, who went home. Oh, wait, no, he didn't go home, sorry. He just, it also failed. I did not like him playing it, but I could see why he was playing it. But Jamie was not going home. There wasn't a scenario in this season where Jamie was going to be sent home. It was going to be Brandon, Lauren, or Maddie, or maybe Matthew. <laughs> she was safe. She... She might have been the most safe on this whole tribe. Because I don't know why, but watching this season, Kane just seems very shifty. And I feel like everyone can tell. And it sucks seeing Shot in the Dark, because I feel like it's been so underwhelming for the last few seasons. It needed a big working play. And to see it get wasted on her irritates me beyond belief. Like so many better players used and failed at the shot in the dark. To see her paranoid herself into playing it and it to work. It's just... Uh. I think the shot in the dark has failed now. All because of one player who now is my least favorite in this whole season.
And this sucks. I, I was so irritated by this play that it ruined the premiere for me. I loved this whole premiere. You had a good meta back happen. You had chaos on the, the Tika tribe. And yeah, Soak is kind of boring, so not the best, but they, they had something going there. But Ratu, not Ratu, just Jamie. It ruined this whole premiere for me. And, like, looking at this season, I didn't even think she was the most paranoid player. I thought that was going to be Carolyn. But no. No, it's her. Because she, she was not going home. I cannot overstate that. She wasn't going home. And to see... It work just annoys me and I think I'm done Jamie's going home I hope the episode tonight is better so I have something better to talk about but the shot in the dark it's failed now it hasn't had a good working and the one time it works is wasted But hey, I'm glad Brandon saved himself. That was good. So good for him. Hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. And new Toll Drama video should be out soon. Peace. Safe. Oh my god. <laughs> It was at this moment he knew he f***ed up.